What's up everybody, my name is Sebastian Bleak and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply an opacity mask onto a pixel based image to kind of give it that distressed look. Alright, so this is something I would normally do in Photoshop but somebody asked me if they could do it in Illustrator and if so, how they should go about it. So I figured I'd share that with you guys here. Alright, over on the left I've got this cool picture of my friend's car and over on the right, I've got this paper texture that I'm going to use to create kind of like a weathered, distressed photograph. All right, so let's talk about the texture first, all right? I'm going to zoom in on this, and I'm going to make some edits to it that aren't vital to the workflow itself, but it's going to give you a better understanding how masks work. All right, so currently I'm looking at a full color image, and what I'd like to do is turn this into grayscale. The reason I want to do that is the darker pixels are going to hide my image where the lighter pixels are going to reveal my image. All right, so let's see how that works. First, I'm going to come over here to the top with my image selected, go into the edit menu, scroll down to find edit colors, and then the option I'm looking for is going to be convert to grayscale. Notice I currently don't have access to that. All right, so I'm going to hit escape. The reason I don't have access to it is if you look over in the properties panel all the way at the top it shows us that this is a linked file. If you go down towards the bottom where we have these quick access buttons, I'm gonna click on this guy here that says embed. Once I click on that, we've embedded this image into this document. And now when I go into the edit menu, I now have access to convert to grayscale. All right, so I'm gonna click on that. And now we have a grayscaled image. All right, if you take a look at the edges there, they're almost completely black that means that that portion of my image is going to be hidden away. Notice over towards the center we've got some white pixels there. So that's where our image is going to be most opaque. Anything you see that's gray is going to be some sort of transparency. Light gray is going to reveal more of your image where dark gray is going to hide most of it. Alright, so let me zoom out. I'm going to grab both of these, click and drag to select. Over here on the properties panel, I've got my align set to artboard. I'm going to do a horizontal align center and then vertical align center just to make sure that they're right up on top of each other. All right, so I'm going to select them both. Come over here to the window menu at the top, scroll through to find transparency. Once you click on transparency, it's going to bring up the transparency panel for you. Now to create the opacity mask, all you have to do is click on make mask and take a look at my image. This is not the effect that I wanted. All right, so let's find out what went wrong here. All right, I'm gonna come back over here to the top, click on release. The problem is the mask has to be above the image. All right, so I'm gonna deselect, click on the image, and I'm gonna use a keyboard shortcut of command, shift, left bracket. All right, and that's gonna send that image to the bottom of the stack. If you're working on a PC, it's gonna be control, shift, left bracket. All right, now I'm gonna select them both, come back over here, click on make mask, and that's what I was trying to get. All right, so let's zoom in on that a little bit. Take a look at the edges, they're completely gone. And if I move my image over here to the pasteboard, you start seeing the gray pasteboard show through there. Now, if you don't get the exact result you're looking for, uh, one thing you could try is coming back into the transparency panel, clicking on this button here that says invert mask. I'm gonna click on it, and I just wanna show you how it works. It basically did what it says, it's gonna invert that mask. Notice the edge of my image is now opaque, and the center of my image is mostly transparent. All right, so I'm gonna turn that off because I like how this looks better. All right, I'll zoom in on that just so you can get a better look. All right, let's go back. Now I've got this other artboard set up. Currently we were just doing this on a pixel-based image, so I wanna do this on some live text. I'll select them both, do a center, center. All right, and again, I need to send my artwork to the back or bring that texture up to the top. If you wanna bring the texture up to the top, hit Command, Shift, Right Bracket. All right, on a PC, it's gonna be control shift right bracket. All right, I'm gonna select my artwork and the mask, come back over here into transparency, click on make mask, and there you go. Now I have this awesome text with that really cool distress pattern applied to it using an opacity mask. 